am Mrs. Phyllis, and I'm a violin and piano teacher, business owner of A Touch of Classical Plus, and author of Stop Sitting and Stand. I'm here today to talk about chords. For those of you who are learning um, how to play chords on the piano, I'm going to talk a little bit about what that is and also a bit about inversions and the scale because we can't talk about chords without referencing what a scale is and, and what that has to do with the chords. Okay, so but before I get into it, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you are always in the know and receiving um, my videos. So let's get to it. I want you to take out your pad and a pencil and write down any words um, to add to your music vocabulary. First, we're gonna talk about a scale. What is a scale? A scale is a pattern of seven notes or, or tones that go up and down in steps. I want you to also write down the word step. A step is when you move from one note to the very next note. Think about going up and down the stairs. You take one step at a time, up or down. Apply that to music, it, you know, to the notes. It's the same thing. You're just going from one note to the very next note. That's a step. That is otherwise known as a second. Um, and then the scale moves in steps. When, when we um, talk about a scale, those seven notes that move up and down in steps, they're moving up and down by seconds. And when I talk about second, that, that number that is a reference to the word step, it's just you're going, again, you're going to the very next. So for example, if we are, I'm gonna use the key of C major. So C, if I start on C and I go to the next, it's D. And I go to the next, it's E, and so on and so forth. So here's our, on the piano, here is our C, what's called the C major scale. You see how I went up and down. In steps and again the scale it consists of seven tones right C D E F G A B right the B is the seventh but guess what when we go to our top note C we can just start all over again with one <clears throat> and this C it's the same as this C it's just higher okay so again a scale is seven notes or seven tones that move up and down by steps and we can put numbers to these keys so we refer we i refer to them as c d e f g a b c right we could put numbers to that so where uh, where c is one and so we can call C1, and then D is 2, and then uh, E is 3, F is 4, and all the way up to 7. And again, when we, when we continue on, that the next C, it just starts that pattern all over again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And, and one thing you should uh, also do, if, especially if you're brand new, you gotta be able to say your music ABCs going up and down, going forward and backwards, okay? Um, because that's how we read music, going forwards and backwards. All right, continuing in the C major scale, I'm going to use um, uh, this as an example. So remember I said that C, we're gonna get into chords now. So the chords are taken from the scale and we use depending on the chord you know we use you know the certain notes from the scale um 
so remember when I said that the number, we can assign a number to the letter name of the scale. So for example, C is one. Um, we're gonna call this, the chord that I'm gonna build from that one, from the C, we're gonna call that a C chord. And how you spell a chord in its most basic shape is C E G. So we take those the, the, the first, the third, and the fifth notes of the scale. And oh wait, let me show you. So here's C, E, and G. And then we play them together. That is our uh, C chord. And we can also refer to that with one. And when we, we refer to these with the, the numbers, they're written as Roman numerals. So this is your one chord in C, right? That's one. And then if we go up to, let's see, we go to the four. What is four? If we're in C, what is four? C, D, E, F. So we go to F, and now we're going to build an F chord. How do you spell an F chord? F, A, C. And let me stop here, and I want to ask if you see a pattern. C, E, G, F, A, C. How are these uh, chords, um, what is the shape of, of the chord from C to E? They're thirds, or they're skipping. So a chord in its most basic shape um, is a, they're built on thirds, okay? So thirds. So remember earlier I talked about how a scale steps, and we go to the very next, C, D, right, or D, E, those are stepping, because we're just going up to the next. Well, with the chord, we're skipping a note. So a skip is just what it sounds like. You're skipping. If we start from C, we're skipping D, and we, we land on E, right? And then we go up one more, skip. We're skipping F, and we go to G, okay? And we put those three notes together. All right, so that's your, the sh again, the shape of these, the, um, the basic chords here that I'm, I'm describing take the shape of thirds. And we also, another word to write down, we call these chords, these are in root position, R-O-O-T, in root position. Why root? Think of what a root is, the, the roots of a, a plant, right? They, they, they've got their, their feet, so to speak, in the ground, right? They're underneath, they're at the bottom. Um, so when we talk about the C chord, in root position, C is on the bottom. And again, remember that they are built in thirds. That's the other thing. They take on the shape of a chord. If you ever look at your music and you, you notice chords, you'll see that the different chords take on a different shape. Okay, that's, that's another way you can tell what kind of chord it is. If, again, if a chord is in thirds, that's, that's your um, root position. They are in thirds. Um, okay, so let's move on. So we've talked about the one chord, C. We've talked about the four chord, F. And now we're going to add one more chord, which is the five chord in C, which is G. C, D, E, F, G, okay? And then we're gonna build our root position chord. How do you spell it? G, B, D. Remember, it's in thirds. Okay, so here we have C, and we go up to the fourth note, F, F chord, and we just step up to the G chord, and that's our five. So one, four, and five. A lot of rock and pop music is written with this chord 
write this word down, progression, okay? A progression is just a pattern of like two or more chords. So we can call this the one, four, five chord progression. And guess what? You can play one, four, five in any scale. I just used the C major scale as an example. But now if you wanted to go to, go to the next, um, to another scale and apply that to let's say the G scale, let, um, so now G is one. Because remember, whatever is one, whatever the name of the scale is, that's where we begin. So in G, so here's our G major scale, right? G, so now G is one, and then what's four? So to find out what four or five is or whatever, you know, chord you're, you're, you're looking for, um, remember, whatever begins the, uh, what, whatever's in the first position is first. So here G is first. Before we were looking at C, C was first. If I say, let's go to F, then F is first. So you, you just, you know, we call that, write this word down, scale degrees. And the degree, uh, it's a fancy math term, <laughs> but that word degree in music just refers to the position the note sits, sits on or sits in, okay? C is one, D is two, E is three. If we're in G, G is one, A is two, B is three, C is four. If we are in B, B is one, C is two, uh, D is three, and so on. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope that clears up some, some of the basics around the scales and the scale degrees and um, the chords. So understanding, like when you see a progression, if you're reading a you know, piece of music, um, this is, this is for specifically for a um, piano, or if you're a guitar student, you might see music that has um, num Roman numbers on top of your melody line. Those Roman numbers, again, refer to the, uh, court, the progression, and, um, and now you know what that means. And sometimes you might see the letter name of that chord, so it might say G, right? Or it might say one, or it might have something fancy like G7. You know, it might have some numbers attached to the letters. It, that just has to do with how the chord is shaped. Okay, and understanding like that seven, understanding if you're, you're in a certain key, like for example, you're in the key of C, well, what is seven? That's what that means. If you're in the key of G, what is seven? And now you know. So let's talk about one more thing, inversions. An inversion, and again, this is a math term. If you have learned fractions, you know all about inversions. Okay, inversions is where you flip or rearrange the notes. Let's go back to C. Let's go back to the one chord. What is one in C? C, right? So our C chord. And how do you spell a C chord? C, E, G. Remember, the, the C chord is based on thirds, right? In, 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 the, in the basic shape. That's called our root position. Remember the word I asked you to write down earlier? Root position thirds. So in our C example, C chord, C, E, G, now we're going to invert or flip or rearrange the C chord. So here it is in the first inversion. And now we are going to flip it to where we go to first inversion. And guys, when we, when we are rearranging the chord, it just, we're still keeping the same notes of the chord C, E, G, we're just putting them in a different order. So um, where C was at the bottom for our root position, when we go to first inversion, we're going to now have E at the bottom. 
So E is first, um, and then G is next, and then C is at the top. And so the shape of that, you have your third at the bottom and the fourth, interval of a fourth, at the top. I don't think I said that word earlier, interval, write that word down. An interval is the distance between two notes, okay? So here, I'm going to start from our root position one more time. Here's C, E, G. Those are thirds. And now I'm going to go to first inversion. We just go up to E. Here's E, G. Now you see E and G is a third, but then now we go to the fourth, C. So one, two, three, four. That's a fourth. So for first inversion chord, the shape is a third at the bottom and a fourth at the top. So here's our C in root position. And, and also I want you to take a listen to how each uh, chord sounds you know, when it's in root position or first inversion, listen to the color of the sound. And here's first inversion. See? Now let's do one more. We're going to go to second inversion. Again, we're keeping the same three notes. Now this time we're going to put G first, and here's C. Now the fourth is at the bottom, and the third is at the top. Okay. There we go. So here's C chord. First invert, and then first invert, I'm sorry, root position. And then first inversion. And now second inversion where we have G, C, E. The other thing I want to point out, you want to use the right fingers too, right? So for our C chord, our root position chord, we're going to go 5, 3, 1. First inversion, 5, 3, 1. But the second inversion, 5, 2, 1. And that is it. So that's all I have for you today on the scale, scale degrees, chords, um, root position, inversions, first and second inversion we looked at, and interval we talked a, a bit about. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. And I will see you next time. Practice your chords and inversions, and I will check that out your next lesson.